seven years ago when I was working as an aesthetician in medical spa, I had a client who was a cancer survivor. Because of her treatment, she lost absolutely all her hairs on eyebrows. Uh, and she had, when she came, she had no eyebrows at all. Couple months later, she came back surprisingly with full eyebrows. Surely eyebrows couldn't grow that fast. That's why I asked her, what was done to them? What, uh, what uh, has she done? And she said that she's done microblazing. At that time, I didn't know much about this procedure. But after I learned a little bit and after I saw results and how actually it changed lives, I decided to search, to search for training to become certified microblazing artist. In a year after I had that client, I was able to start my microblazing career and to take a training. My first training choice wasn't the best one. That's why I decided to share some tips how to choose your training and how to choose the right one. My name is Marina Ivseva and currently I already have six years of experience working in permanent makeup and microblazing industry. I have done with my own hands uh, 1500 procedures, over 1500 procedures, and I have taught more than 200 students already. Also, I am a mom of two little girls who has been my motivation and encouragement for this journey and for my career as well. So if you will stay with me for about five minutes, I will tell you uh, three main things which you should consider when you are choosing microblazing or permanent makeup training. First thing will be to consider your artist and your trainer. Second thing will be to consider settings in which training is taught. And third thing will be to consider the content of the course. First, what we're going to focus on is artist and your trainer. Some students choose uh, training solely on the world academy in the uh, description of a training. It, it doesn't matter if it's academy, school or just private trainer teaching uh, students. You have to choose artist or trainer who is actually going to teach you. And first thing which we're gonna check is going to be portfolio, portfolio of an artist. We will see fresh results and also healed results in portfolio. Especially healed are important results because this way you will be able to see if artist is actually capable of getting good healed results. This is also very important for you because if artist is not posting and showing good healed results, maybe they are just not able to get them. And for you, as for student, you want to get to know uh, how to get good healed results. If artist doesn't know this, if your trainer doesn't know this, then probably they will not be able to teach you this. So that's why search for healed results. Next thing to consider is going to be experience. Four years of experience is the minimal requirement needed by American Academy of Micropigmentation in order to become certified and licensed permanent makeup trainer. So that's why you, you should look for artists who have at least four years of experience. More years of experience is better, but make sure that, that those years of experience were actually spent practicing and working with clients. And now we are going to return to portfolio and I want to tell you that uh, you should look also that portfolio of artists is very diverse. Those four years of experience should be spent by working with different models, different clients. Portfolio should be diverse with different ages, uh, different skin, um, including skin color, skin, uh, skin conditions. Uh, also, your artist should be able to work with different medical conditions as well. And portfolio should include at least 500 works. More works is better. After you selected artist, settings are very important. Sometimes I've heard that famous artists, they give huge classes where 100 students are present. Permanent makeup is the craft which requires personal attention from trainer. Especially American Academy of Micropigmentation requires artists 
to provide primary training in the settings of on um, with practice one on one or one on two. It means that you will have attention of teacher. That's why I would strongly suggest to choose private trainings with smaller groups and with private practice on models instead of huge groups. Then also for theory we have uh, two options. Now we have online option of learning and we have also in-person option to do theory. So usually it's not important how you will do theory. Uh, will do theory. Uh, my 100 hours course usually includes online portion first and then in-person practice on models. This way you will be able to rewatch videos, go at your own pace and also uh, make sure that you view all details which you are not able usually to catch even when you watch procedure in live settings because of uh, different cameras around. And also, as I said before, practice on models should be one on one or one on two. No large groups during practice on models. And I would suggest also to search for a place which provide you models instead of looking for your own. And the last thing which we want to look at when we choose the course is the content. I would suggest to look at the practical part first. You have to have enough models to build your initial portfolio when you just start working because portfolio is our bread and butter. If your school doesn't provide that, it would be extremely hard for you to start. That's why make sure that there are at least six models if you learn permanent makeup and microblading. Usually, AAM uh, approved courses provide at least six models. If your state doesn't require a 100 hours course for initial licensure, of course you can select other courses as well. But I still would recommend uh, to choose 100 hours course because it's a golden standard of courses. Uh, for insurance, that would be also easier to get insurance for you uh, if you have 100 hours certification. In addition, I would want you to consider also program of uh, which would uh, which should include all techniques and business information. Business information is very important for you to move forward after the course. In closing, I would like to say that I made a mistake when I chose my first class. I was in rush to start my new career uh, after I saw what actually microblading technique was able to do to a client. Uh, I was uh, so excited to start, so I selected the course which was available right now uh, with an artist who I didn't research at all with a, the, with the low price of course, but after I had to take more additional trainings in order to actually get uh, the technique and to get to the proper way of the technique. When you come across trainings, make sure to use my guide how to choose the right microblading or permanent makeup training using three options. Uh, you should consider artist, settings, content. If you are in search of a permanent makeup class right now, visit my website to check information about my 100 hours course and you can visit my portfolio as well. Link will be under this video. And I would like, you, uh, would like to remind you that your first permanent makeup uh, training will be a foundation of your success. That's why I choose it very carefully and use my strategy.